Hi everyone. We have been getting a lot of questions from people about what we've been up to over the last few months with our time at home. So we thought we'd take you on a little adventure through our yard. So this is our garden area and we're headed into the woodland portion for the shade garden. So in here we planted all kinds of woodland species, trillium, lady slippers, bloodroot, um, all kinds of great things that are going to come up in the spring. There's squirrel corn, uh, jack in the pulpit. Like 50 different species. All right. And this is our meadow. So we designed the meadow to support all the different butterfly species that are in our area as well as other pollinators. Yeah, Nicole actually went through the entire Butterflies of Michigan book and I figured out what every butterfly, what all of their caterpillars needed, what their host plant was, what nectar plants the, uh, the butterflies all needed. This is our photo blind for birds. We're going to do a big set of videos on how to do birds in your backyard, so that's coming soon. Yeah. So far we've had all kinds of butterflies come, dragonflies. So the meadow goes all the way down here. So, Nicole, we, we planted 5,000 different plugs, plant plugs, little two, three inch plant plugs. We have over 60 species of plants, native uh, wildflowers in the garden. Some of them are already starting to bloom. There's all kinds of bees that are coming and dragonflies and butterflies. So then going back this way, it goes all the way down here, down on that way. So this is going to be like macro photography nirvana. Yes. And then, of course, we've got the pond that we put in, too. And the pond has brought all kinds of different uh, amphibians. We have a couple of species of frogs as well as salamanders. Then, of course, some of the raptors, like the barred owls and the red-shouldered hawks, like to come and eat some of our frog friends. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the barred <laughs> owls and, and the red-shouldered hawk has eaten many of our frogs. But, yeah. And the baby bunnies. And baby bunnies, yeah. So here's the pond from the other side. One of our bluebird houses. So one of the things to remember is that this uh, one of the best things about this project was this whole entire space when we moved here was all gravel. It was a big giant gravel turnaround and driveway and it's just ridiculous. So we really did kind of reinvent things. All right, so here's what we did with all of the leftover plants. We built the mini meadow. And this is off the back of the house. Which is still pretty large. It's not yeah, quite mini. Yeah, this is mini. probably, I think this is about a thousand square feet down here. Yeah. And then it backs up to the marsh area. You can hear a catbird going off in the background. Yep. So this is the, the marsh. We've got some, some loose strife. And Joe Pie. And Joe Pie weed. Jewel weed. All this jewel weed. And then here's the plants that we all that we planted. So and these are all They're all native all plants. All native plants. So, so all the, between the woodland garden and the meadow area, it's about hundred and fifty different species of natives. And so we're bringing back habitat. So, and then we'll have all these insects to, and flowers and all this wonderful stuff to photograph for the next forever. Yeah. And then this is the ground blind where we photograph uh, birds and squirrels and, and things like that. So we'll, uh, that'll be part of a future, future video as well. A lot of fun. 
This has been a super fun project, and it's already starting to pay dividends for us. One day, we actually saw 25 different species of butterflies out of about 100 that happened to be here in Livingston County. And yes, monarchs were all over the milkweed. Those were actually some of the very first eggs we saw and some of the very first caterpillars, and that made us really happy. So this is actually something that you can do too. Um, you can create these kind of habitats in container gardens or any size garden around your house or as big as you want with meadows and fields and all kinds of things. So it's really rewarding and it's great for not only the photography, but also for the wildlife. It really pays benefits. Um, we wanted to share a few pictures that we've taken so far around the meadow and around the house. So we'll do a little slideshow. And we encourage you to reach out and ask us questions if you have any. So that's what you've been up to. We hope you've enjoyed this little tour. We will put a, uh, a plant list in the description if you're interested in, in what plants we put in. And we'll, we're going to revisit this and do some more when when the everything's blooming. We'll come back next year and show you guys what's going on with everything. And make sure you subscribe. The next set of videos we're going to do is going to be all about backyard bird photography. We're going to visit all our blinds and do all that. So subscribe so you uh, stay informed. Yeah, good stuff coming. Thanks. Bye. See ya.